All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. Today is Wednesday. You guys have decided that we're playing some BES. What the fuck is BES? Yeah, exactly. Uh, they're like these ships. You can clearly see here, BES. I think it's Big Something Ship. Like, I don't know what the E stands for. But we are playing these motherfuckers. This is BES, people. And uh, I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to play? It's not even really an archetype. Like, I don't even know. A, I don't even remember who suggested it. And who the fuck voted for this? But... Ah, uh, this is gonna be a tough one. Andy opens up with the diva. like, oh my god. Thank god I'm fucking, I'm going second. If I went first, well, I guess the Andy's would be nice. If I was going fucking first, man, I'd be dead. I'd be fucking dead. Like, hello? Who, who is this? I don't know who this is. Okay, so you can tribute those two to summon Poseidra? Like, what the fuck? Like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I need to get that Monarch Stone Force. There's a lot of cards that I need, but I was like, screw it, let's go ahead. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Uh, I decided to go ahead and throw the, 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 um, the Monarch Engine with it because I was like, well, it works so good, well for Earthbounds. Let me just throw it in here with fucking, uh, with BES. Like, simple as that, you know? And then he quits. Like, good, good, good. Glad you quit because, you know, I'm running no extra. But I'm not just doing Monarchs. I have the BES, but he wanted to scoop it up real quick. So, alright, I mean, you guys thought we couldn't do it, we're gonna fucking do it, just throw it in with monarchy shit, like, this is good, this is good, this is good, like, this is good, like, so many good things, just take out the earthbound, blow in the BES, so, mmm, <laughs> alright, let's get another duel, be right back. You know, it's just like, you guys give me some crap-ass decks on daily duels, you know what, that is fine, boys, because you know what, I'm just gonna take these decks and splash them in with some meta, it's simple as that, like, I I'll make these decks good, fuck y'all, I'll make them good. Anyway, uh, I'm supposed to be telling you guys, giving you guys a little bit of a tournament report, so uh, I guess I can go ahead and get to that. So, depending on what he busts out, it won't be the best to play. Since cards normal summon during your main phase, you can uh, tribute summon one monster addition to normal summon. So, I can summon this and then get an additional tribute summon, summon this guy, which is, I guess, fine. You know, I'll get my three counters. It's just, you know, my stats aren't high enough to be fighting Sylvans right now. Like, mmm. So, I, I just drew all my BES, all my core. This is actually, I think, the boss monster. This is, like, the strongest BES. It's just they're all like, hey, when I'm normal, so I'm going to get some counters, and then when I'm destroyed, or I battle, I remove counter, but I can't be destroyed, I battle, which I guess is nice, but it's just, like, you keep removing counters, and you kill yourself if you have no counters. Like, they, they really didn't do much with this. Like, it, it's just, mmm. <laughs> Hell. Turn those into Princess Bitch, which I guess is fine. It's, uh, I'm gonna have a hard time dealing with Sage Koya if I can't freaking, uh, you know, get something. Like, I just drew so many cores and nothing else, so. Yay, I guess. <laughs> uh, anyway, tournament report. So, I entered with uh, a deck that I would like to call Cosmogeddon. Uh, the deck profile should be up if you guys want to check it out. For anyone to just is like, hey, play Cosmos, right? My friend, uh, we're gonna let me borrow Cosmos. You know how you do tin can and then use your effect, get one, and then send the other two to the graveyard? So, you know, Cosmos started playing like, uh, um, I'm snapping my fingers trying to think. Cosmos started playing, um, uh, Call the Haunted and stuff. Well, the same gist, except instead of tin can summoning, summon, sending, which you won't always get tin can, uh, the idea is to run. Uh, Armageddon Knight to send to Dark Destroyer and then run Max Arrival. I ran Triple Call of Hunter, Triple Oasis, and it was fine. So, as you can see with the BS dead, uh, when I normally summon, I gain three counters. I can't control a battle by card effect, but if I am attack, if I attack or am if I attack or attack, uh, I remove a counter. And then once all my counters are gone, I'm dead. But, you know, what's really great is I can go ahead and this one, I can remove a counter to pop a, uh, back room. So, I think I'll go ahead and remove a counter to go ahead and pop your, uh, Mount Sylvan because I don't want you to have that and like I said right now I'm just stuck between a dick and a hard place because I cannot get over that Sage Koya. Like, the struggles are real. Like, the, the ships aren't even that strong. This is the strongest one. I think it's 20, only 25. Like only the attack barrier for being the strongest one? That's not good. That's not good at all, you know? So I'm assuming he wasn't going to activate his Sylvan Sacred Sylvan during my end phase because he just drew straight up into Sylvan Charity. So. I'm assuming he wasn't going to activate this, and I kind of just wasted one of my counters, which, mm, so, maybe I'll get lucky, and he won't summon anything else, and he'll just attack with this, I'll keep a counter, summon this, and then treat these two for this, which is, only gets two counters, but I believe every time uh, I flip a coin, never mind, he's just going to pop me, because he has, an, he has another filled spell, so, that sucks, and, uh, I mean, it's Monarchs, but it's still BES, so, mm, like, there's not much I can do. 
Uh, I, I mean, this 26 meter is too strong. If I draw Monarch Stormforce, I could tribute it off. That'd be great. Like, yes, sir. But mm, <laughs> it's not looking good for me. And he hasn't even used Spore yet. He can use Spore and then summon back if he wants to. And I'm just going to go and Daffy slap me in the face for 26. I need Monarch Stormforce. So I can summon another. No, I only drew that one terrain. Like, like I would need, like, Monarch Stormforce, summon this, tribute your shit in my thing. Like, mm. I drew another terrain, so. I guess I can once again go ahead and summon terrain. I'm doing BES, people. It's motherfucking BES up in this bitch. Like, what, did you draw something to stop me? Because you literally got, like, everything in this duel. Like, you, you, you Mr. Sylvan got you. You opened up pretty well, I must say. We'll go ahead and summon our BES terrain. And our opponent, opponent's probably like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, apparently I'm playing BES. So whatever the fuck that is. Big, enormous ship. I think it's enormous. I think the E stands for enormous. Oh. You got Vanities too? I mean, it doesn't really phase me, but uh, you got Vanities too. That's pretty power. That's pretty power. So you're going to go ahead and use your Mount Seven and mill the top card off, then that, which there's no back row for you to pop. So you're going to pop your own fucking Mount Seven. That's, that's not even mandatory. You can. So you just pop your own shit for no reason. Like, good job. Good job. <laughs> I mean, all I got is this. Like, this isn't even good. Please let me draw Monarch Stoneforth. Monarch Storm Force would be the best. Like, let's go. Uh, this is once per turn coming from cap. If I draw Pendidi, I mean, I can always remove my last counter, pop my Pendidi, and then you know get a search. Like that might be okay. It depends on what I draw. Monarch Storm Force. Let's go. Let's go. Time. It's people. It's I have uh, to say it's it's people time. No, it's time, people. So it's time to actually summon the best of the BES, the boss monster, the covered core so your monster my monster bam look see you guys thought we couldn't do it you guys thought we couldn't do it so the one that sucks about this is that it's attacked or attack so i attack i call i'm gonna guess i'll call tails you know it landed on tails so i keep all my counters so i keep two counters awesome see that's why this one's good because it's attack or attack, I still keep my counters. Then we have this guy who's like, I can move counter to pop a back row. And then I have the other one, the original one, where it says, when there's normal summon, I get three counters, but I only move a counter if I battle a monster. So if I attack directly, I don't even have to remove a counter. So it's just those three ships with the Monarch engine. It's really simple, but you guys said it, and I'm going to do it. You know, I'm going to fucking do it. My opponent ripped top soul charge, and I'm going to end my life. Like, all right. <laughs> he was just like, draw soul charge. Like, number fucking generator. He already got the vanities. Like, he gets the soul charge too, but I guess I got the Monarch spawn for it. But still, damn, I mean, I already drew into three fucking cores. Like, come on. <laughs> anyway. I don't get it. I, I did uh, pretty successful. I, like I said, deck profile's already up, but for a deck that literally had no extra deck, like, no extra deck, the side wasn't the greatest either. I mean, let's go. It's, I mean, it's, Sylvan's with Soul Charge. Sylvan's with motherfucking Soul Charge. Like, let's go. Soul Charge is so broken. A top deck Soul Charge, though. Like, that's top, that top deck Soul Charge, though. You know, this deck went from, like, being really decent, Sylvan's, to just... No one plays anymore because Soul Charge went down to one. It's like, good. But for the love of Christ, it's just Soul Charge is so fucking broken. Like, oh my god. Uh... <laughs> so, uh, this might be game. Like, at least he can't attack me, which is nice. And depending on what he leaves his field at, I mean, these leaving these guys wouldn't be smart. I could just attack them, you know, and you'll die. So, so I guess we'll find out. Oh, you have an effect that doesn't require detaching? I guess I guess you send and then target a different Sylvan. Like, he's going off. He's doing things. But I seriously don't think I'm going to survive this turn. Like, there's no point in doing Soul Charge. You need to make an unbreakable field and come back with the duel because you can't attack. So, literally, if you leave your field like this, this wouldn't be good because I'll just go attack and then I'll be game. So, <sighs> it's, not the rest, it's not the best of Sylvan players, but, but I mean, Soul Charge win. <laughs> so I'll charge you win. Alright, so you can go into one of her. So That's definitely big enough to survive another one of the princesses. You can only use each effect of Sylvan Princess once per turn. So you can go ahead and do that. And then get charity and then just, just fuck me. Just fuck me. Like, oh my god. Like, look at this shit. 
anyway, uh, let me go ahead and give you that tournament report. Give me that breakdown of how it went. Because I didn't, I talked about the, the duels that I had in the death profile. I mean, in the death profile, but I didn't go into detail. All right, so starting off with uh, round one, uh, sat down with my opponent, but there was a repairing. Like, oh, okay, repairing. Get up, go to my next opponent, and then my next opponent was a newbie. My, my next opponent was definitely a newbie. And uh, the rule, the whole establishment, it was definitely like, uh, wow, Miracle Fertilizer, just go off. Just go the fuck off. Like, look at this. Look at Soul Charge. How is this fair? Uh, all three Mount Sylvans, like, look at this shit. It's amazing how well he fucking opened. Fucking just excavate, pop me, because I'm only protected by battles, not by card effect. I know, that'd be nice if I was protected by card effect too, but no, it's just battle. So, so I'm dead, and he gets all of this, and uh, look at that, just look at that. Soul Charge, Soul Charge. Might as well just scoop it up, like, he's got it, he's got it, I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing, we'll go ahead and get another duel here. So, uh, definitely in this, in this um, tournament with Monarchs being what they are, uh, you can go ahead and ask your opponent extra back and all that good jazz and you know That's pretty much how it went down. So this is the other one. This is the original one. So uh, this uh, Only moves to counter when I battle a monster. So I might be able to do something just depends on what my opponent here is playing this Danuru Danuru <laughs> Not Daniel like my name. No Danuru. Like, is that how you say my name in Japanese? You just place the L with a uh, RU like all right, <laughs> but uh, this thing is not terrible, you know uh, I might actually just start doing some monarch shenanigans just activate domain and then start going off the town with that and then we'll get to this later So I can go ahead. I have no cards in my extra play this and then my pup will probably proceed to quit But I mean what you're gonna do. Yep. Yep. What you're gonna do? Anyway, let's get another duel Like I said like we're winning we're doing things like uh, I have to be I could have done something with the big, the, uh, big core But I think I'd rather go ahead and you know send the pen to you do all of that and then next turn go ahead and do the big core so my opponent scoops it up. Oh well, let's get another duel and bear back. We're just gonna have people quitting, which means that I win with BES, so let's go! Like, why are you quitting though? Like, it's just, it's just, it's just BES. It's nothing, it's nothing bad. It's nothing bad. <laughs> it's not Monarchs, it's kind of Monarchs. Uh, this hand's not great either. Like, sometimes, you know, our Monarchs be open up like the booty, so. Monarchs be eating the booty. Alright. Give me Monarchs on fourth. Another Rubris? Like, really? Like, that's not good. That's not good. Wow, you sent slime with slime. I wouldn't have done that. So, that's not great. This is this is probably one of the worst hands I've gotten in a cool minute. So, I'm thinking about just Twin Twister and blowing your shit away. Like, I open up a booty. I would love to go ahead and save this for your uh, your co uh, contract, but I have a feeling that, uh, and I could get you back too. Okay, right, could discard a mana spell trap to get get you back. I don't need you back. Like, I need anything else. Wow. So return them and then go ahead, I guess, search for, like, Kepler and something else. Like, who plays this? I don't even know anybody who really plays this card, but hey. I mean, slime and Ratna. Okay. Pop the birthday skill. Oh, that's all I got. I, I opened up, like, the booty. I, mm. Anyway, uh, you know, whole extra act, you can ask them how many cards in extra and all that great shit. So, uh, my opponent, my opponent, he didn't even ask, because I was expecting, totally expecting my opponent to ask me, how many cards do you have in your extra act? Because, you know, uh, that's, that's pretty much like the big thing that was going down back and forth during the tournament. Just how many cards do you have in your extra act? Damn. So, he just keeps on getting shit. Okay. So, it's time. I drew pen, uh, pen pantheism. So, let's go, boys. Uh, then I guess I'll go ahead and, uh, Twin Twister, pitch again, blow your shit back again, because of course we're running triple Twin Twister, this card's so good, blow your shit back, like, pop both of them, pop both of them. Then I guess I'll go ahead and get Domain, then summon my Eidos and Monarch Stormfoil, tribute your shit, summon my Rebris, and do all them shenanigans, like, ah, oh wait, you got another one? Like, dude, how many freaking, you don't run multiple of these, most people don't even run one, but you're running multiple, like, alright. So we'll go ahead and activate my Pantheism, reveal to you three domains, lock you out of the extra deck, and that's pretty much how we win with BES. I mean, I didn't get any of this duel, I'm just pretty much playing Onyx, but hey, you guys give me shit-ass decks, then I'm gonna fucking show you shit-ass decks. Like, let's go. So we'll go ahead and Normal Summon, Eidos, we'll go ahead and Monarch Storm Fourth. I didn't have to do that, I could've just revealed. I, I keep on forgetting about that effect. So. 
Uh, there's nothing to spin back. Like, once per turn during your main phase. No, the other one, in fact. It's card strip summon. You can send two mana cards to the if you do shuffle one card to your opponent. Hand at random or a graveyard. Or, oh, graveyard two? Graveyard two? Yes, ma'am. And, uh, prime. And, uh, you don't need this. <laughs> but damn. And, ah, yes. See? See? We can do it. We just throw ahead and throw the Monarch engine in. Monarchs are so good. Throw the meta in with the shitty decks. Anyway, uh, he didn't ask me about my extra deck, which of course I had none because A, I was too lazy to write it, and B, I was trying to trick people. Like, I wasn't taking this tournament serious at all. Like, uh, someone lent, loaned, lent me the deck. Uh, one of my viewers and subscribers, Lance, uh, wrote my deck list for me, so, and I just, I was like, screw it, I'm gonna probably be bored in the tournament, so let me go ahead and bring, uh, $20 just in case I wanna enter, and I was like, screw it, I'll go ahead and enter, uh, we'll go ahead and activate that powerful Panditi once again, cause, <sighs> just, that's the way they wanted to do it, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and reveal to you, uh, two Emperors and a Monarch Storm Fourth. there's not too many cards in here, I'm assuming that you're going to give me Monarch Storm 4th, which is fine. It's fine, because I can just go ahead, and if you do something cute, I can go ahead and just summon Prime, and then Monarch Storm 4th and tribute your shit from my B.E.S. Big motherfucking cover core, motherfucker. Like, yeah, okay, stop. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, round 1, went against some dude, Blake. I didn't even know what the fuck he was playing. At first, like, he was playing, like, some kind of dragon that... He set like that uh, that rock dragon with the 2,000 booty. I tapped into it, ran into it with freaking Wicked Witch, took a hundred, uh, proceeded to go off. He didn't know none of my cards. Like it seemed like he just entered the game of Yu-Gi-Oh for the first fucking time, and it was no, it was not good. It was not good. <laughs> yep, GG, GG. I mean, I it's Monarchs with covered core. It's, I mean, BES. Let's go. All right, get another duel. Bro. All right, look at this shit, man. We pull off these Monarch BES plays. We got this, boys. All right. One hit boxes, I will go ahead and go second. So, ew, damn, like, uh, I mean, I might need to take some of these BESs out, because I think I, am I running three of each? I'm not sure. I think I might be going, but damn, like, ugh, ugh, this is not a great hand, especially with the pendulum mechanic, like, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and surrender. You open up monkey board, just fuck me, fuck me. All right, um, let me go ahead and tweak the deck a little bit and be right back. All right. Uh, lowered the BES a little bit and decided to put in that, uh, Ether, because Ether can set up place too, like, this is just a straight up Monarch hand, like, here, yeah, that's fine. Like, that, I'm totally fine with that. Uh, I might just go ahead and summon BES, actually. Like, hmm. Nah, it's not a really great turn either. But if Hogue didn't do anything, then I don't want to do anything, you know? I guess I can go ahead and that Monarch Storm forth and then summon Ether during his turn. I was trying to get the Epper and the Rebirth up consistency instead of the that, but I'm just not sure. Like, I, I'll take it slow. I'll pass. You, you can go ahead. Like, there's just nothing I really want to do with this hand that's going with nothing, you know? Oh, he got Dark Conditions. Ooh. This, this isn't going to be pretty. You guys already know Dark Conditions is a nasty-ass deck. I need to get rid of this quick. Spot banishing my shit? Like, mm-mm. I'm not about that life. So, and everybody's playing it. Like, I'm seeing so much Dark Magician of Blue Eyes. It's not even funny. Like, everybody's on that deck's deck. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, actually start playing now. Now, since I actually have something to do, I can go ahead and just get rid of your Shield of Rebus. I don't want you to have that Dark Magic Circle. The card is fucking power. That card is fucking power, people. We'll go ahead and send you. We'll go ahead and send you. And then, no. On the field. Get rid of that right, dark magic circle. And then, I guess I'll go ahead and use you. Uh, I don't need my fill spell right now. Because liking dark magic out of the extra is not too great. So I think I'll go ahead and just reveal three uh, marches for you. And then you can't touch my shit. So, that's pretty great. So, march, march, march. March, march, march. So, I need to get started talking more. I'm, I'm still on round one. So, um... I crushed him, of course. I mean, come on, he was, a, he was a noob. He didn't really know Yu-Gi-Oh! And I felt bad. I felt bad, but that's just how the pairings go work. You know, you pay $20 to enter a tournament and you barely know Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, really? Really? That's not smart. It's like it's like adult. It's like parents throwing their freaking kids into, uh, <coughs> into you know, locals or something, which is bad. It's just bad. Uh, game 2, he actually kind of messed me up. He played Wave Motion Cannon, Card Trader, and fucking Burden of the Mighty. And because of Burden of the Mighty, he, like, fucked up my... my uh, Cosmo SDK, like it's like, oh fuck, you know, like, I didn't get enough damage in. 
and uh, uh, he set one card. Then I go like summon farm girl attack. I mean summon attack, tack, tag out, tack, ta and then like by my fourth tag out, I think I uh, summoned Slip Rider because like fuck it. And then Slip Rider popped his set card. It was Mirror Force. So he allowed me to get like four attacks in before he fucking uh, and then got his Mirror Force popped. It was bad. It was like wow, you know. Uh, we'll go ahead and set this just in case because uh, I can go ahead and tribute during my opponent's turn so I can tribute Markstone for tribute my Rebus tribute his shit. You know, that's totally fine. And then summon my Rebus and the Rebus will turn to my hand, which I already have in the Rebus, which I guess is to. I can summon another Ether. I can get another Ether, which is totally fine, but Dark Magicians, I mean. Damn, I got rid of young Dark Magic Circle, boys. Now he's sitting a whole bunch of cards and shit. Did I forget to attack? I totally forgot to attack. Totally forgot to attack. Oh well. No, it's fine. So, I guess I can once again go ahead and do idea, idea summon. And I think I'll go ahead and actually summon a BES. Like, I think it's actually time for me to summon a BES. So, we'll go ahead and go Ido, summon idea. I'll be getting that pantheism back. Um, that's great. Summon you. Activate you. I mean, you got four sets, so you should have something to fuck me up. Even if you do have something to fuck me up, I really don't care. Like, I will summon you, and you will get an, be an additional summon, which is fine. So, we'll go ahead and tribute summon you, which is one of my additional. After I have my squire, give me back my fatigue. You guys were like, let's fuck him over with BES. He can't do shit. What? Monarchs, let's go. <laughs> like, as soon as I saw BES, I'm like, alright, that's easy. I'll just throw in fucking BS with fucking monarchs. That's, that's easy. The tri All right, if you need a tribute engine, fucking monarchs, man. They'll, they'll have you fucking ass covered. Like, mmm. Yes. I ah, and you can't touch me. And you can't touch me. And again, I'm not traditional tribute. I'm going to tribute off of Eddos and summon another big motherfucking core. Like, let's go, people. Like, give me my three counters. Normal summon again. Bam. Who said I couldn't do big core? Who said I couldn't fucking do BES? Ah, you're like, I don't know. I saw you guys' comments. I don't know how he's going to do that. Easy. Easy. Let's go. Attack. Yes, this is the fucking one where I only remove counter five battle monsters. So I keep all three of my counters. Yeah. You can't touch me. You can't target me or destroy my card effect. You still fuck me up with the Storm Mirror Force. So that would suck. That would suck ass. That, that shouldn't have went in like this. Oh, wait. I thought it was when I battle a monster. I guess maybe that's a typo or something. I'm guessing he's just like every other guy. I mean, you see it right there. You know? This card battles a monster move one counter, but maybe that's just wrong wording. I'm trying to read the card up there. This card battles a monster. Yeah, I'm reading the small text. Maybe they eroded him and changed them, because I don't think I didn't battle a monster. I'm getting a direct attacking, so why, why am I removing a counter, right? 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 So, now since I know that doesn't work like that, the only reason why I was running him is because I thought he only, he kept his counter, and he only moves when I battle a monster, apparently not. So I'll probably end up taking him out, and then up in the other... Uh, the one that pops back on the boss monster, the 2500 one up to three. Cause I'm going 222 right now, but now since I know that there's nothing special about him now, it's really disappointing. I might as well just go ahead and take him out. Because there's nothing special about him. He's like the weakest one. And the only reason why I kept him is because I'm like, oh, you know, you remove your counter when you battle a monster. So if I get a direct attack in, then, you know, let's go. But no. Okay, why didn't you summon Dark Magician and block your sh and block? Look, I'm kind of, I'm kind of lost on that one. Yeah, you definitely should have, you know, summoned Dark Magician and did all of that shenanigans, so. Oh well. Uh, there's not really anything I want to do. I mean, I guess I could get Domain and lock him out of the extra, but there's really no threat right now. Like, you want to exceed these two, that's fine, because I could just go Monarch Storm for Chip your shape, my shape, summon, uh, summon, you know, Ether, and then do that play, so. There's like no threat at all. Like, so Monarch Stormforth, Ether, tribute your shit, tribute my shit, summon Ether. Yeah, so we're good. Uh, more tournament, more tournament, uh, more tournament. I'm gonna have to cut this up into two parts. Cause I, I, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut this up into two parts. Well, at least let me get halfway done. Uh, round two, uh, I faced Monarchs, ironically. And you know what the real ironic thing is? I faced against the guy that all the way back in like i believe last time it was like august or november somewhere in that time last in 2015. uh he was playing necros i was playing tower turbo and well i guess that's before november obviously because i was playing tower turbo he beat me he beat me with necros right he fucking beat me uh i guess i'll go ahead and activate monarch storm fourth because i am not gonna allow you to get off your epic magician whatever ah damn 
So he's just straight up unaffected by card effect. So if I activate this shit, chain resolved backwards, which means that this hasn't resolved yet. Like, oh shit. Like, I think he might have fucked me up. Alright. Target face up, self on the field, blah blah blah. Alright, well, that's fine. That's fine. You can make. You can currently on the field. Target one faces back after means Evan's unaffected. But that dark magician that you summon? No, no, no. He did tribute. So, that's fine. No, that's fine. Actually, you know, I should have, I should have summoned Prime back. That way I don't have to tribute one of my precious ships. I'm going to go ahead and hold that A button. I'll go ahead and activate Prime. Banish the Nox Storm for summon back my Prime, and then I'll tribute your Dark Magician, which means that your, uh, your Ebon won't banish anything on my side of the field. I'm holding the A button. I'm holding the A button, waiting for it to be like, end of main phase one, because I know he's going to go into battle phase, and I'll tribute your shit and my shit, and then we'll be gone. Because I can't affect this guy. He's unaffected by spell cards, but didn't say anything about this Dark Magician. No, I'm waiting for it. What the fuck? Why can't I? Wow. 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 I'm holding the A button. It's like, hey, there's nothing on the field. You want to look at anything? No. I want to activate my fucking Ether effect on summon of my Prime. Thank you. Fucking. Oh, my God. Thank you. Fucking. Why'd you approach? Thank you. Like, that's. No. I wanted to fucking. Fucking. Like, is it all spellcasters? Like, I don't think so. No. So, why the fuck couldn't I fucking activate my fucking Ether? Thank you. On summon, I wanted to fucking do Ether, but no. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fucking retarded. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm still probably okay, but seriously, like, that was, that was just, that's real annoying. Like, that's, 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 that's the definition of annoying. Like, holy crap. Like, are you fucking shitting me? Like, I, I, I wouldn't even have to deal with the majority of what I'm facing right now. Now what's going off? That's so annoying. Like, why couldn't I activate Ether? So I guess I just can't F activate Ether anymore. Super summon is attributed one tribute to my monster. This card is tribute, blah, blah, blah. Like, what the fuck? During your opponent's main phase, this card is in your hand. Oh, I banished my one monarch sto speller trap. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I didn't know she did that. I thought you could just summon her. No, you gotta banish her. Oops. <laughs> as simple as that. Oops, I fucked up. Never mind, never mind. You're you're fine, YGO Pro. You're fine. I'm the idiot. <laughs> and uh just happened to draw into the exact card that I wanted to draw into again, so that's awesome. Go ahead and activate that Emperor March again. And we'll go ahead and activate that Monarch Storm Force, Tribute Joe shit, my shit. Hey, you want to go ahead and activate it again? Activate another uh, Spell Book of Wisdom? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I forgot about Navigation. Powerful card. Really is. Alright, so I guess I'll go ahead and just go Ido Summon Idea and then do that play. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I could just Tribute you to and then Summon him and then Banish that, so... Yep, you too. Oh, I tribute the wrong one. Should have been it. Tribute the other core. Oops, I messed up. <laughs> no surprise there, Daniel keeps messing up in Monarchs. Uh, so, I ended up losing to him 1-2 uh, again. I lost him again. So annoying. Like, I just, I started opening up like booty. He opened up great, like, every single duel with Monarchs. So, it was just, it was just not a good duel for me. Like, definitely not, so... Then send those two, then we'll return from the field. Then get, get rid of him. You don't need him. Then I could go ahead and activate Pendeity. And I get an additional tribute summon, so I'll go ahead and grab me a Monarch Storm Forth, a Pandeity, and a domain. You'll probably give me the domain, right? Because you're not really affected by locking out of the extra deck. Or 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 pantheism. Or pandidi. Man, I'll, I'll take another pandidi. That's all good. Yep. Alright. That's fine. So, that's banished. I can go ahead and do 
uh, Eidos, Eidos summon Idea, get additional tribute summon with, uh, I mean, Eidos summon Idea, Eidos sum Idea summon Eidos, get an additional tribute summon, summon Ether, and then just start trying to wrap this duel up, you know? Let's go. So, then summon you back, and then you'll go ahead and grab me one of my banished cards, which would just be great, so. Go ahead and activate your effect, and this is definitely why you run three Eidos, and not two. The plays are just so good with these two, it's just like, mmm. So, go ahead and normal summon, you two. Squire, and, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and send to summon another one. So, get one of my banished cards back. Hmm, well, I don't need you, I don't need you, I guess I'll go ahead and grab you. And then you'll go ahead and summon me by sending two, and then I'll have something to tribute summon for next time. Like, it's fucking, it's fucking Monarchs with the BES boys, like, it's, it's, it's going down. We'll go ahead and send... And send you, and I guess we'll go ahead and send one of you. And you. Damn. Damn, just get jumped. Battle. Wait, you're running another shrink? I wouldn't be surprised if you're running another shrink. Book a moon, your dark condition, because you can't target me. That's fine. So, you're still dead. <laughs> yeah, let's say, what, do you want to book a moon my monster? It's like, no, March, fool. <laughs> okay, Prisma, and attack directly for game with the BES. Let's go, game. Woo! Told y'all. Told y'all. You thought it was like BES, man. You can't do shit with that. Just throw it in with Monarchs. Monarchs are so good that they could take another tribute fucking debt. Like, oh my god, so good. So fucking good. Oh. Uh, anyway, uh, let me finish talking about at least half, half, part one, because I'm, I'm half an hour in, and I haven't even fucking, I'm only round two, so, so, uh, I opened up, like, I opened up meh, game one, game two, he got the, he, he twin twisted me every single duel, I opened up Solemn Strike, I mean Solemn Strike, I wasn't playing Solemn Strike, Solemn Warning every duel, but he had twin twister every duel, and then he popped, and then the, uh, one and three, he popped my solemn warning and fucked me up. While the duel he did in game two, I fucked him up. So it was just bad. It was just bad. He opened up great. I opened up kind of meh, and he ended up winning. So I'm one one. Uh, going on to the next round, I ironically ended up facing one of my friends. I faced my friend Aaron, who is uh, the son of the card shop owner uh, that uh, that I sometimes go to. Tier one, our group. I ended up facing one of my friends. You know, I think it was like we got seated and then we got repaired and then I once again. Uh, once again, three three pairs in this damn tournament, ridiculous, and um, and we faced him. So he was like, you know, I already got my invite. I'll go ahead and give you the win, so you can go up to two and one. But we were like, all right, screw it, let's play for fun. So game one, he opens up the tits, he goes off. He ends up uh, uh, taking my dark destroyer with hope zero, poking me with my dark destroyer, and then mass change taking my dark destroyer into a fucking dark law and gaming me. So game one, game two, uh, I end up beating him. I kind of lock him out and. Uh, he really couldn't even go into hope, uh, after zero to handle any of my cosmic monsters. Game three, he just knows, like, booty, like, the booty, straight up, and, you know, with Dark Eclipse from negating all his traps and all of that, him not really knowing a lot of, uh, PK monsters, uh, he ended up just losing, so, despite saying, I'm gonna give you the win, he still ended up losing, so even if we took it seriously, I still won, so I beat him one too. And then the next round, I faced yet another PK fire. Um, this, this guy, he was much worse than... Uh, then my friend and uh, I feel dirty for this. I actually rule sharked him and got him in a lot of trouble. I feel bad. So uh, Game one uh, He's like he opens his hand. And he's like, oh, I accidentally kept one of my side cards in my in my from my side deck in my main deck, you know, I accidentally drew it and You get a game loss like this is a game loss, right? I know this but he's like he doesn't really know or just, I'm so I'm just playing I'm like no no it's cool it's cool it's okay we'll just play like you don't even have it you know but I was like but you know what I'm kind of curious let's go uh, at first I was gonna let it go I was gonna be nice I was gonna be nice you know but then he was like special summon Taco Tomborg search summon make a Dante tour guy and I was like all right all right I was like you know what with that side card you know let's go ahead and call over and judge and see what they say you know I know he's gonna get a game loss so we call over the judge head judge comes over and he's like look I know you guys are all cool with it but we're gonna have to give him a game loss his deck's not the proper form you know and I'm just like oh I'm so sorry I gave, gave me a game loss I didn't even know, you know, it's a learning experience, you know, so he's like, oh, no, it's cool, you know, little did he know, I knew that he was going to get a game loss, <laughs> God, I'm evil, but no, like, when you open up with that well with PK Fire, and I can get an easy win, like, let's go, 
So, I get the uh, first game one. Game two, I allow him to fuck me. Like, I straight up allow him to fucking fuck me because I'm a goddamn idiot. So, I have the Dr. Stray. He goes and makes a uh, uh, brick sword, pops his own brick sword, pops my shit. Uh, I think, I can't remember what he popped. Uh, summon the two monsters back, which of course you can level forward, but you have to go into a dark. My dumbass completely forgot. Goes into Utopia, what the fuck? Utopia Lightning, tax on the shit, and gets me for game. I'm like, scoop, you know, uh, you know, you got it. And I was like, in game three, I was like, what the fuck? Like, you can't go into Utopia and Utopia Lightning with those monsters. I was a fucking idiot, but it's already too late, you know? I mean, shit happens, right? So, game three, he flips up Imperial Iron Wall on me, which, you know, sure, that hurts Cosmos to an extent. I mean, I'm running, you know, Call of the Haunted and shit, so that's totally fine. You came out Dr. Shari, goes to the graveyard, Call the Haunted, summon back Dr. Shari, so it really doesn't phase me. Pim, on the other hand, holy shit, he even fucked himself more than he fucked me, you know? Uh, he, he banned, he, you know, milled a whole bunch of his Phantom Knights, couldn't banish those to get a surge, his traps, couldn't banish them to get, uh, to summon Revival. Uh, he couldn't special summon his Burning Abyss. Like, he just got straight fucked by his his own Imperial Iron Wall. And, uh, he actually ended up drawing Twin Twister. Uh, he called me on Dreads. I was like, Cosmo Town, you know, activate Cosmo Town effect, which, of course, uh, revealing is not the cost because I want to shuffle back in. And he's like, Twin Twister. And he's like, oh, you reveal and then you shuffle them back and you don't draw. I'm like, no, 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 no. You know, revealing is not a cost to Cosmo Town. So I activate the effect. You respond. You want Twin Twister. That's fine. So uh, he Twin Twister did. I kept my cards in my hand. Cosmic Town, search Cosmic Town, play Cosmic Town, put them back, and, you know, revive a card, proceed to go off. Uh, but he didn't twin twister his own Imperial Iron Wall. You know, he got an Imperial Iron Wall and then start coming back at the duel, you know, went into a hope, went off, you know. But instead, he decided to sit there at the Imperial Iron Wall and get fucked. So, yeah, I ended up winning 2 1. So, now I am 3 and 1, and this is where I'm going to have to go ahead and call it for part 1. I apologize, people. I want to talk about the whole thing here, but I got just so distracted with the BES Monarchs being so good. Like, you got that, I couldn't do it, but come on. Come on, it's Monarchs. It's so fucking easy. It's just too easy. Uh, so, we will be back tomorrow. Tag in. We're playing the Dragoonies. We're going to be making that, uh, we're going to be making that crystal meth with ease, cooking up that methamphetamine. So, if you guys are ready for that, if you guys are ready for some good rocks, then we're going to pull that off tomorrow. Uh, join tagging, of course, which I do. That's probably arguably the best deck on Daily Duels. And then I'll be back on Friday, part two, talk about the remainder of the tournament, playing Zushins. Hopefully that goes well. But literally, you guys think you fucked me over in these Daily Duels. Well, I was complaining at first. I'm going to pull this off. Like, I'm salty that you guys decide this, but we're going to pull it off. We're just going to take these decks that are not that good and then throw them in with some meta. We're going to mix it, meld it up. You know, ninjas are going to get, um,. Magician Engine, Pendulum Summon, Apex Avion, all that, fuck you, like the OG fucking uh, ninjas are the Apex Avion users, ninjas, there you go, Pendulum Summon it, or, you know, tribute my ninjas, special summon for my deck, like, let's go with uh, Transformation, uh, this deck, of course, gets Monarchs, and then, uh, we're not gonna do PK with uh, Nordics, because, I no, we're gonna try something new, we're actually gonna try Perform Pop, we're gonna Pendulum Summon, we're gonna get them draws and pluses, Sorcerer's gonna pop, give me some searches, Guitar Turtle, Lizard Jaw, Draw, 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 Get them pluses, pendulum summons, make my my uh, Nordic uh, gods. Like we're gonna do it. Like just take some meta, throw it in with the, the good decks as engines, and win, right? <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Of course, we will uh, be back tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, looking forward to telling you guys for part two. Like I said, I apologize, but this video is already going on 40 minutes, and uh, yeah. So B E S, let's go. I, another month of this, sure. Like. Literally, I just kind of tweaked fucking Earthbounds, which the deck profile is already up. And I'll be back tomorrow with the deck profile of uh, Resonators and uh, some Dragonity. Alright, people, thanks for watching.